Hello, I am Mal, and welcome back to Master of Orion, our Let's Play as the Mechlar Combine. Alright, so I've gone well, about 20 turns ahead from the last episode, like I said I was going to. Um, I have significantly improved both tech and our fleet, um, and we are ready to go to war with the Sakura. Now, in terms of how we're doing globally, we're not doing too shabby. So while the Terrans have 34% of GDP, they've got to get to 50 if they want to go for an economic victory. Meanwhile, we're up 30 to 30%. 30 I think in the last episode we were at like 21 or something. So we have significantly increased our chances of getting an economic victory, um, which we either have to radically improve our score, destroy everyone, or get an economic victory within the next 177 turns. So hopefully we can do that, and that would be, if I could win this, this would be pretty cool, because uh, we're definitely on the ropes for a big part of it. Alright, so let's see. I've got two fleets. I've got a primary attack fleet here, and then sort of a support fleet here. I did go ahead and build a ship that's uh, simply basically a bomber. He could do some long-range fire support, but basically he's a bomber. So we got bomb guy, we got two of those. Um, oh yeah, that's right, we, we do have a Doomstar. Mm-hmm. I haven't even filled out all the weapon modifications yet because I wanted to go ahead and start building it. So we are building a Doomstar on one of our worlds, and then we'll update the weapons here. Because as our tech increases, this is something I recommend. So like, for instance, I've got Quantum Fields coming, so I'm going to have um, Class 7 Shields, and I'm going to have weapon modifications for a couple of other different type of weapon types. So I've gone ahead and built, essentially with all the specials and everything I want, and I've committed the construction of it. But then I'm going to update this uh, with the weapon systems I want uh, once the tech is done. And then it automatically will end up building whatever the latest one is. So if you already have a Doomstar in construction or any ship for that matter, uh, it's going to update to the most recent plan. It may, it'll ex obviously ex extend the turns of construction, but that's okay. Uh, let's see, our battleship... We've got um, the top end drives on all of our ships now. We also have Gauss weapons, and Gauss cannons are inherently shield piercing, so all damage goes straight through. Yeah, our ships are pretty brutal at this point. So I'm 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 hopeful that we're gonna have, uh, you know, it's not gonna be tough for us to do this. Let's see. Now right, let's go take their home world. Meanwhile, the Terrans are attacking them, too, and they're not taking their worlds, they're just destroying stuff. Which seems stupid, but hey, I'm all f I'm all for it, because it means more good stuff's for us. Okay, that looks fine, we don't need to change anything there. Oh, you just got done with that? Dang it! Alright, we're gonna have to waste a turn blowing that up, that's Research fine. Complete. So class 7 shields are done, plasma torpedo modifications are done. We'll change our plans in a little bit. Stasis field, ensnares the target. Ship cannot fire, move, recharge new weapons, but it effectively remove the battle from the battle. Oh, yeah, stasis field is kind of cool. Subspace teleporter. Allows your ship to make an ultra short hyperspace jump in combat, quickly changing its position on the battlefield. Okay, that's kind of cool. Oh, Disruptor Cannon, right. Those are pretty nasty, too. Hmm. Oh, and the Stellar Converter. Oh, we need that so we can blow planets up. Gotta have priorities, right? Blowing up of planets is, you know, come on. That's paramount. Well, we don't necessarily need more research, but, I mean, I guess I'll, I can set it up. Eh, whatever. It's fine. These guys are finally done being upset, I guess. Oh, that colony ship's going right here. This is going to be a nice little system for us. 
Give high gravity, you do. All right, we'll start from a gravity generator then. Mm, yep, gravity generator. And then the standard stuff. So get yourself an automated factory. And then hydroponics. And then fungal farm, I guess. And then neutron collider. All right, there you go. Enjoy. Just gonna say hold on the spies. No, no, not sleep. Artificial planet construction, please. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, now, time to fight. It's all screwed up, too, by the way. The, uh... The, like, what it says for the attack power rating. It's... Like, if I individually select on one of the ships, I think our battleships are like 3,000 or something, but if I click on the fleet, it says 1,700. So, I'm hoping we don't have some kind of nasty effects from that. I, I don't think we will, I think it's just a UI bug. Alright, let's go this way, disable that. Don't want to go into those clouds. You lose your shields in there. Yeah, it's bad times. Or that's what it seems like to me. Oh, okay. Or we can just do a flyby with one ship and kill it. Okay. <laughs> that was kind of cool. All right, let's see. Oh, this poor little guy. What are you? Oh, a factory. You poor bastard. Yep, we're at war. That's right. Oh, I didn't want the fleet to be together. Uh, all right. There should be, um, inherently when they, when they cross over each other, there's, you should be able to select the tabs and then have like a merge function. Yeah, they should stay separate unless you tell them to merge. Oh, this ought to be fun. This is a, this will be a cool looking fight. Oh, we're coming for you. We're coming for you, lizard man. Actually, I kind of feel bad because I really like the Sakura. It's like one of my favorite empires. I kind of feel bad about doing this to him, but we got to do what we got to do, man. Got to do what we got to do. All right, so you guys back off. You're the support ships. And then somewhere in here, we've got some. Yeah, OK, bomber guys, you're going to go hang out over here, too. So let's let's do that. Get you out of the way. There we go. Okay, so let's match speed. And yeah, we'll approach from this side. We can use circle formation, that's fine. It's about to get ugly on you guys. It's about to get ugly. I might split it up. Like, take these guys and tell them to go here. And take these guys and, yeah, you take care of that. It seems reasonable. 
I'm, I'm still wondering like when we're gonna get um, ship veterancy um, and when we're gonna get leaders. We still haven't seen that. I'm kind of hoping we do. Actually, actually, I'm hoping we don't. Let me let me let me stand corrected. I actually hope we don't see any new content in the next um, patch. Yeah, like whatever. If they're if they're gonna have phase four, I hope phase four is nothing but like bug squashing and cleaning up of the UI and all that. Then maybe after that we could get ship veterancy and then leaders would be good. Yep. Oh, look at those look at those plasma torpedoes. Oh, they got their... <laughs> they got their butts kicked. That was awesome. Alright, and let's attack the colony. Well, it took almost all of our transports. We got, what, three left? But we got it. Okay, so alien management center, yes. And then deep core waste dump. Yeah, go ahead and buy that. Need an upgrade, okay. Okay, so a battleship can go there, and then a battleship can go there, and then space factory. I know we have one. Yep, you go here. And then the other space factory. Where you at? Where you at, other space factory? There you are. You go there. Can this thing get up there safely by itself? Maybe. I don't think the Sakura have too many ships left. Speaking of which, military power-wise, we, um, we are basically at parity with the Terrans. Let me show you that real quick. Go to Time Graph, Terrans. Oh, oh, correction, we're now past them in military power. So we, we got a decent chance here, folks. We got a decent chance. I'm not saying that they're not dangerous. They're they're obviously still dangerous, but I think we can get this done. Let's see. Okay, build. Why don't you build a star fortress? Actually, build a missile base, and then um, and then a star fortress. Yeah, and then ground batteries. That's your job. Do it. Okay, so let's destroy this. And let's destroy this. Okay, and then right here, we're gonna do artificial planet construction. Right here. Right here. Oh, okay. Gonna wig out on us a little bit, then that's fine. We'll just 
Wait a turn here. Okay, so that one's bugged. You know what? I'll just scrap it. Oh, no. Got the full on... Got the full on bug out again with the UI. Okay, so let me, um... Let me let me save and reload and see if I can't fix that. I'll be back in a second, hopefully. Okay, folks, so it's still bugged out, at least the, the screen for the Space Factories is, but everything else seems to be working. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and continue um, and see if we can't wrap this series up, because I, I really didn't want to end another series, you know, prematurely. Um, you know, I mean, I know that you invest time and whatnot watching it and um, I, I just wanted to see if we could somehow push through so I'm gonna continue this and see if we can't finish it and uh, hopefully we'll be able to just means we won't be able to move around quite as fast because we won't have the advantage of jump gates but I have interface drive so ships are pretty fast anyway welcome to GNN Science leaps forward in the galaxy today. Okay. An event requires uh, the overseer's attention. I guess I'll take Stasis Field. Research. At this point, Please I'm select a new I'm getting things that I probably won't even end up using. Achievement unlocked. It's nice to have, but I don't know that we'll need it. Okay, Max Pop. Head up there. This is a planet the the uh, Terrans have been working on for a while, trying to get. Okay, we'll just auto-resolve that. No chance that Starbase is going to defend. Let's see if one set can take this. Yeah. Nice. That's kind of funny because I think the <laughs> I think the Terrans did most of the work. Yeah. I mean, there was very little defenses there. Well... Too bad for you guys. We get an alien management center. Yeah, I need one of those. So let's go like that. Oh, your food balanced? Really? Okay, great. Ultra rich. That's a nice world that we just took. All right, let's take a look at Path to Victory. We're neck and neck on um, gl the galactic GDP. Hmm, okay. Uh oh, did it build? Did I build the Doom Star already? I think I did with no weapon systems in it. Well, I guess that's okay. We could put a bunch of weapon systems in it, new shields and all that, and then spend a ridiculous amount of money to upgrade it. That's what we'll have to do. I'm fine with that. 
Yeah, there it is. <laughs> yeah, it's like really pathetic firepower. All right. We did get new shields, right? Yeah, we've got class 7 and we're about to have class 10. You know what? For that matter, let's let's just wait on the Doomstar. We can move it. We can move it around, so let's do that. Let's put it... Hmm. You know what? Let's put it down here, because I don't trust the Terrans at all. Let's just go ahead and move it down there. We've got plenty of firepower for the current warfront that we're on, so... I don't see the need to do more than that. Okay, head over there. Here, you can guard. Here, send one ship there, send the rest of the fleet this way. Then you go back and orbit the planet. Now this thing's still gonna be bugged. Yep. Yeah, well, it was worth a shot. All right, well, we'll just scrap it then. Ironically, this one's gonna finish what it was doing. Maybe it won't be bugged. Who knows, let's see. Build. Oh, it can! It can do stuff! That's hilarious. Great! Then give me a jump gate right there. Thanks! Thanks, game! <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's see. You, guard. And you, join the fleet. Then we'll move them next turn. Oh, they're all fixed now. <laughs> okay. Like, I kinda wish I hadn't scrapped those other ones now. It's okay, though. They're not very pricey. It's not like, it's a big investment. Up there. We actually relocate over there. Come on. Okay, you guard. You're going to continue up there. What can we have you do? Hmm, we can build a troop transport. And then a Star Fortress, because reasons. Nah, it's good to have the fortifications, especially on, on these worlds that are close to the Terrans. Because again, I think it's gonna go... I think it's gonna go that way, that we're probably end up fighting them too. So we might as well be prepared. Probably design a Titan at some point. Star Fortress... Oh, they don't have any chance. I guess I'll take command if for no other reason. Just so I can move my support ships out of the way. Yeah. So that they don't have any chance of getting hit. And where's my bomb guys? Okay, you guys go back here. Turn off the AI. Let's go. I don't like it when they pass through those clouds. Oh, it's getting myrtleized. Boom.
Yeah, plasma torps for the win. And bear in mind, our ships are not completely upgraded because we've grabbed more tech since then, so we can make them even buffer. Which I guess we'll do before we deal with the Terrans. Alright, and another world. Excellent. So, Alien Management Center, or Waste Dump, Missile Base, Ground Batteries, Star Fortress. Yup, that'll work. How many more planets do they have? Gotta be close to taking them out. Yeah, they got three? Okay. An event requires uh, we'll overseas. take class 10 shields. Thank you very much. And we've got disruptor cannon modifications. Good. Please select the combine succeeded. Uh let's look at the tech tree. Are we done? Pretty darn close. Like, this isn't even worth it. <laughs> we do Gaia transformation and we're gonna get one cell? No, it's supposed to be four total pop, though. But what would I put them in? Research that I don't care about at this point? Yeah. It seems like not even worth it at this stage. Yeah, I guess just build a battleship. We got plenty of command point, head cap, yeah. Oh, nice. They did the work. We got the planet. <laughs> Screw you, Terran Conant. <laughs> nice. Okay, so let's see. Oh, we need gravity generators. And then we're going to need... Oh. <laughs> Alien Management Center? Yeah. We'll buy that first, I guess. Oh, got another battleship hanging around over here. All right. Uh, go there. Set you on guard, I guess. Yeah, just have some kind of presence up here. All right, well, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up. We're very tight on the economic victory race here. Conquest victory. We could win that. Yeah, we certainly could. Excellence victory. The Darlock have the Excellence victory score? What? Whatever. <laughs> anyway, I think we're in decent shape. Um, what we're going to have to do is finish up real quickly with the Sakura at the beginning of the next one. And then we're going to have to go start taking worlds um, from the Terrans just to slow them down. So I think what we'll do is we'll set up a couple of different fleets since we're allies. And we'll just move straight into their territory. And then declare war on one turn and like take out like two or three systems at once. Yeah, that sounds like a good scumbag maneuver. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, I'm Mal and I'll see you later.